Today here on Blue Shift Ministries, we're going to talk about hybrids. Viewer discretion is advised. This is a very delicate subject. It would be best to put your children in the other room. Hybrids. Who are they? What are they? And where do they come from? The idea ideology of hybrids comes from the second heaven of the Anunnaki who have an obsession to always breed different forms of mankind. They want to breed bulls. They want to breed eagles. Bulls with men, eagles with men. And the reason why they're doing this is because they emulate Jehovah and they want to be like him. As we all know, Jehovah Jireh, he has his seraphim angels, one of the head of a bull, one of the head of an eagle, and the other head of a man. They believe they want to do their own bulls and their own eagles and their own heads of men. But every time, once again, they try to create these abominations, it comes out just that, an abomination. You have to understand, whatever Jehovah Jireh puts and touches, it comes out to be a blessing. Because only he can create life. Any other entity doing anything, it comes out to be an abomination because they were not meant to create life. So as they keep failing and as Lucifer keeps influencing and he also keeps failing, he wants to now put the egotistical idea into scientists' minds. Many scientists have created hybrids. Many of them have failed. Many of them have been very, have failed miserably. There has been abominations created. Children who look like lions and cats. Others, um, they want to do the pig splicing situation. This is a very, very abominational thing to do. Father frowns on this. However, some have been successful and now some hybrids are here. I personally, as a New Yorker, I have seen... A man that didn't quite look like a man. Um, I thought he would look weird looking. I'm thinking maybe it's just makeup. Maybe it's just him. And I thought he looked really weird. <coughs> I won't say one thing or, or another because I want to be very clear here. I want to be. I want to give you clarity here. I'm not a conspiracy theorist. No, I'm going by my own experience and what I have seen. And I notice people are becoming obsessed with the CRISPR. That box is an abomination. You cannot take your own DNA to your own basement, splice yourself, inject whatever the hell was in that thing, and then call yourself God's creation. It's just not going to happen. <clears throat> That's an abomination. The CRISPR is pretty much another Pandora's box. That's a demon in a box. And I implore all of you to stay away from that. Whether it's witchcraft in the lab... Whether now they want to turn everyone to have the option. They want to make portable witchcrafts in the lab. That's why they made the CRISPR. This also, all these things is all Anunnaki related. All Greek mythology related. You will notice every sign in the zodiac has a hybrid connected to it. Has a weird manifestation of what the imagination of Lucifer has. And what other evils have. And that is what we were never meant to be. There are people who are obsessed with eternal youth. They believe if they splice their genes with another animal, they will have eternal youth. They think they could um, be more like, what is this called, regeneration. They could regenerate. There are many, many people who are obsessed with immortality. So they, they believe if they splice themselves with another animal, they can live forever. When really only Jehovah Jireh and his son Jesus Christ can live forever. I made a video on this. Please see that video. However, if there are any hybrids watching this video, I have a prayer for you. And I ask you to come to the kingdom. To any and all hybrids watching this video, I ask you to repent. Repent for being a hybrid. Repent. Come to God's kingdom. Serve Father. Father accepts everyone as long as you repent. Yes, it is true. You're not in Father's image. But it does not mean you cannot serve Father and do good.
Your existence, how you came into existence does not determine who you are. It's what your actions that counts. May your actions be towards the kingdom of the most high. May you bow to the king and recognize the son of David so he can recognize you and have mercy upon you because it's not your fault. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. You didn't ask to be born. You didn't ask to be judged. And no one should be used by anyone. They created to use you. To send you into warfare on the battlefield. Trying to create biological weapons. You were not made to be someone else's toy. No one should be a slave. I don't care who you are, what you are, where you came from, or how you were created. I bind the demons of slavery upon you. I bind the demons of shame upon you. I bind the demons of all this witchcraft and a lab on you. Son of David, I ask you to cleanse all of these hybrids, for they have nowhere else to go. They feel lost. May you invite them into your kingdom. May you also give them clean garments. As long as they recognize you, Father, may you accept them into your kingdom. It's not fair to them. They didn't ask to be born. They didn't ask to be created. May you have mercy upon them. May you have mercy upon their soul. To all of you hybrids, fast, repent, and bloodline cleanse. Believe in Jesus always. Amen.